Hi everyone, are you a mom that is struggling with a toxic adult child? Today I wanna to touch on that because as some of you know, I really dislike the word toxic and I'm gonna tell you why. So for those of you that are new here to my channel, I just wanna welcome you. My name is Sally Harris and I'm a mom who walked this difficult road with my own daughter for over a decade and when her life spiraled, so did mine. You know, when you hear the word toxic, what do you think of? right? We think of, typically, we think of, you know, somebody who is treating us very poorly. And that is exactly what it is. It's a behavior, right? One of the things that I learned a long time ago, and I know how easy it is to, uh, when you're not thinking clearly, you're upset, you're hurt, all of these emotions that you moms are going through when you're, when you're seeing this toxic behavior in your child. But how many of you are saying, my daughter is so toxic, my son is so toxic? I want you to separate the behavior from your child. Because when you can separate the behavior from your child, it tends to make a little more sense. It tends to be able to help you um, just kind of process the fact of, you know, this person who just happens to be my son or daughter is really hurting me. They they might show signs of, you know, they don't they don't have any empathy for you or towards you or or loved ones anymore, or they become very um, disrespectful. They become, you know, behaviors such as passive aggressiveness and gaslighting and all of these things that I know you know what I'm talking about because most of you are dealing with that right now if you're not already fully estranged. If you're on this channel, it's because you're struggling with this kind of stuff. So for you personally, I am creating this video just to encourage you to learn to separate the behavior from your child. Because it, whether it's your child, a friend, a spouse, or anybody else, when we see this toxic type, be type behavior, which it is, it definitely is, but when you have a toxic adult child, you know, I've learned that we need to separate that because your child didn't start off that way. Life has gotten in the way. They've made choices and now there's consequences. A lot of things come into play here. And you just remember, as always, you are not the only influence in their life. They are making some decisions. There may be drugs involved, there may be mental illness involved, there could be a lot of factors and no two children, no two families are the same. And so I just wanna encourage you to really, I want you to write that down. I will no longer call my son or my daughter toxic. It's their behavior. Their behavior is toxic. And who gets to fix the toxic behavior? They do. Can you fix their toxic behavior? No, and I think you know that. You know that you can't fix someone's behavior, but yet we seem to think we can fix our child because we're putting them together. We're putting them together in the sense of, well, that's my son, that's my daughter, I raised them. You know, I've had control all these years. They'll surely listen to me. I don't know why that they're treating me this way. They're just all of a sudden, they're super disrespectful. They're cutting you know, family members off, all of that kind of stuff. When you separate that person from the behavior, you quickly realize that you can't change your son, you can't change your daughter, right? Because the two, the two are interconnected, but you can still love your son, love your daughter, and very much dislike and hate their behavior. And that's okay. That's okay, I totally understand that. But this video is just to encourage you to separate that because I know how painful it is to have all these emotions and it's, it's, it's neglectful, it's disrespectful, it's harmful, it's even borderline abusive sometimes. But I want you to think about, for those of you that are struggling so much, how would you allow someone else to treat you like that? How long would you allow that? How long would you allow someone else to treat you in that type of manner? Some of you are in abusive relationships and I can identify with that too. I was there at one point in my life and I got out. Why? Because I was not gonna tolerate being treated that way and I was a mom, right? So all of that to say, I just want you to consider that. I want you to think about that, ponder that because when, when the light bulb moment went on for me many years ago that my daughter's behavior 
wasn't her, right? It's her actions. Now those are her choices. And there's a lot of influences and then factors that come into play. But at the end of the day, she's responsible for her behavior. I am not, right? So separate that child from the behavior. And this whole situation tends to get a little bit easier in the sense of being able to accept that. Um, and then what do you do? You have to focus on yourself. You have got to focus on you, keep yourself healthy, get yourself healthy, get yourself out of that pit that you're sitting in. And I, and I, I was there, I was in that pit for a very long time. And I just wanna encourage you to get out. And if you need help with that, if you're ready, if you're a mom who's actually, actually ready to do the work and to be a part of you know a group with other moms who are going through similar situations or work one-on-one -on -one or, or attend workshops or whatever the case may be, but you're willing to start putting in the effort and the work and, and invest in yourself, then I want you to click the discovery call link. It's a one-time consultation with me where we can talk about the situation. And then um, I wanna learn about how it's affecting you as a mom because that's where I come in. So I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.